today I am here to tell you about my experience with Bobbi Brown makeup. Uh, today I went to A.S. Cooper's and had the privilege of having a makeup artist from Bobbi Brown do my makeup today. Her name was Sherry and unfortunately she's not allowed to be on camera, but she has worked with Bobbi Brown. She's been with the company for a very long time and she did a beautiful job. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing she did was apply a hydrating eye cream. This is retailing for $50 at Sephora and it looks like that right there. I'm going to try to put all of the links to the products below and I did have a paper that had all of my shades on it and I don't have the paper unfortunately anymore so if I can remember what shades that they used on my face I'll try to link them below for you guys. But the first thing she used was the hydrating eye cream. It refreshes the eye area and it prepares it for a seamless concealer application and it feels really really nice. It's very creamy, very lightweight and it definitely was moisturizing let me tell ya. The next thing she did was introduce me to the secret of the universe. So what she did was first off apply the corrector. Now I haven't taken mine out of the package yet because I just got it, but you lightly pat the corrector all the way along basically your eye area. It is in light bisque. So they just patted it lightly under the eyes and then went over that with the concealer kit. Kind of looks like this. It was just a little palette with the two things on there and you just slightly dab the concealer then over the corrector that you've just put on so it gets rid of all the dark circles, brighten your, brightens your eyes up instantly, makes it look as if you have had eight hours of sleep even if you've only had four. So I really liked what that did because after we had taken off all of my eyeliner I basically looked dead to the world and like a zombie and she just put on those two little things and it was like wow instant transformation so I love that um, I would highly recommend that if you're just looking for something to get rid of the dark circles it's phenomenal the next thing she used was a little bit of the BB cream she just lightly brushed it over my face and the thing with the BB cream is um, I didn't really need much of a foundation because I didn't want something really heavy and cakey because I'm outside a lot walking the dog so I didn't want to sweat it off but the BB cream was very nice and soft and as you can see it's got a little bit of a shine to it um, and she said that it is not a concealer, it is not for concealing because they don't like to use the word concealer for like blemishes or anything except for basically under your eyes, that is what concealer is made for. Um, so basically the BB cream did cover up a little bit of blemish that I have and just made for a nice overall coverage. Um, the next thing she did was use a bronzing powder which we lightly blended into my neck and basically that was just to get it to look like I wasn't a floating head because my cheeks up here are a lot darker obviously than my neck, it's very white and pale. So we tried using that and it didn't blend super well on me so what we actually did was used a little bit of the blush as well. So I have the blush mixed in as well as the bronzer and then she popped a little bit of the blush on my cheeks right in here which is gorgeous. Um, I love the color, it's a nice pop of pink as they say and then she went on to my lips. Now for my lips she used the Bobbi Brown Lip Balm. Um, it's a non-greasy lip balm that smooths and protects the lips and basically it has avocado, um, olive oils and gives the lips a protective layer. So I really liked that and then she just went over top of that with a gloss and I can't remember the name of the gloss, I'm sorry so I'll try to link it below if I can find it. Um, after that, she went up and did my browsy brows, which thankfully are now tamed because I have a terrible time doing them myself. She actually did not really add much to them at all. She used this small pencil. It's got the wisp on one side, which she did and brushed it, and then it's got the other little teeny tiny itty bitty brush that she just went through and smoothed them down. So they look nice and I'm very happy with them. The next thing we did was use a eyeshadow and this eyeshadow is more of like the cream smudge pots that you've seen um, in like the drugstore. I think Milani makes a lot of them but this one is beautiful. I'm gonna try to do a bit of a close up here. Awkward I know. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful brown sparkle color and I really like it a lot. 
Um, I'll link the color again below because I don't know it off the top of my head. But it's really pretty. It's got hints of gold with a little bit of brown. And I just loved the way that this made my eyes just brighten instantly and look really pretty. Um, the next thing we have here is a bit of the dark eyeliner. This is the cream eyeliner that basically everybody has tried to imitate and has not yet succeeded. It is called the Long Wear Gel Eyeliner and the one she used on me is in black and it's very, very nice. It has a special brush to get that little flick there on the sides, um, which I've kind of smudged this one, but this one is on point. And then she just very, very lightly went down right through here and did just a very subtle tight line for the waterline, I guess you would say. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really nice. I'm not used to not having a ton of liner down here, so for me, it took a little bit of getting used to, but I do like the way it looks. Another item that she used, and I'm going to pick you guys up and bring you in, was the Smoky Eye Mascara. And whoa, this stuff makes my lashes look like they are falsies, and they are not. They're my real lashes, and my real lashes do in fact touch basically the top up here. So I have to be careful when applying the mascara because it gets pretty much everywhere. But this one dried pretty quickly, and my lashes aren't too clumped together. They are a little bit, but she said more than likely they probably clump like that because I didn't get all the mascara off the night before, which very well could be my problem. So I'm going to have to try to find an eye makeup remover that is going to help take that off because it's sticking like crazy. But um, yeah, I like the way it looks. I think that's about it. I think that's all the products that we used on my face today. Um, but I really enjoyed getting to experience Bobbi Brown makeup. I thought they were lovely the way they taught you a little bit of a lesson and showed you how to use the products versus where you go to some makeup artists and they just apply it all over your face and don't really explain what they're doing. So it was really nice. It taught me a lot. Um, and I would highly recommend if anybody's ever doing Bobbi Brown tutorial in your mall or a store near you, go check them out because it's super awesome. So that was basically a little insight uh, to my makeup journey and I really like how this turned out. I also loved that the makeup artist said that Bobby loves freckles so she didn't cover up my freckles at all which makes me happy because I like them too. I like the way my freckles look and she was saying that if you look through their books they have a lot of girls with freckles so that was pretty cool and exciting. Hi guys, so I just finished my makeover with Sherry and she did a beautiful job. I am loving this dark liner up here at the top. It's amazing and I left with a few goodies. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Here are the items that I picked up. I've got the corrector, which you just apply under the eyes. I also have the hydrating eye cream. This is the one that you put on first before anything. It's gonna really hydrate your skin. Here are the products from this box right here. They were all wrapped up in a nice black tissue paper. So there's the eye mascara, the brush, the eye cream, and of course the liner as well. So I'm looking forward to using these and trying to recreate the look that Sherry has made on me today. I also, over here, I have this beautiful blush right here in a rosy colored pink um, and the color is Fresh Melon and I would like to give this to one of you guys as a special giveaway. This is a very nice beautiful blush and I'm also going to throw in this Bobbi's Ultimate Makeup Lesson. It's a little book that shows you basically a little bit about her but it's a makeup lesson to show you how to go from looking like this to looking like this in very, very easy steps. And you guys will win this to tell you the Bobbi Brown steps, as well as this beautiful blush right here. So if you guys would like to win this beautiful blush and this makeup instruction booklet, all you have to do is leave a comment below telling me your favorite Bobbi Brown product if you have used them before. And if you haven't, let me know what product you would like to try based on what you saw in this video. And I will choose a winner soon. Good luck! See you guys in my next videos. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in my next video. Bye!